the NAI, uh, NAI CS code or NAICS code, kind of like pronounced like snakes uh, is, is how I believe it's pronounced, um, or occupation. So the question that we always get is, okay, this NAICS code is on here. Are we required to you know, look that up or find it? And really the answer is, as long as you have the occupation filled in, um, you would be fine unless your NAICS code is something that you're, you're already generating or you already have. If you have it, you know, and, and some systems actually do that where they, they categorize um, certain fields of occupations you know, on this numerical code, um, but if your system doesn't do that, you don't have to go out and independently look it all up. So um, that's what one on the bottom of the page is getting at. If you have it, use it, um, but otherwise you can still use occupation. Now on page four, uh, at the top of the page there, uh, look at the italics there. Uh, really they're asking, uh, don't, be specific when you're entering in this op, you know, occupation. Uh, presumably for all of your customer accounts, you have, you've done your due diligence, right? You understand who your customer is, what the purpose of that account is, and uh, what their business is. If it's a, if it's a business for, you know, account, what, what is their business? What is their occupation? And what the italics are on the top of page four here, what, what it's getting into there is, um, you know, be specific. Don't use gen, general or vague descriptions like, you know, doctor, carpenter, you know, or I mean, don't use non like businessman. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll want to say specifically what they're doing. Um, a businessman is very vague. Um, merchant, retailer, these are things where it's, it, it provides some information, but it really is pretty amb ambiguity, or it's, there's a lot of ambiguity there. So, you know, as you're going through and filling these out, um, if you see that, because a lot of times I know your system is automatically um, entering in some of these data fields. If you see some really vague information there, it might be worth going and updating that and making sure that, okay, um, you know, what kind of merchant are they? What kind of business person are they? Because, uh, you know, those kind of vague accounts, or if you have an account and you dig into it and you find out, we really don't know what this person is doing. And there's a lot of cash moving through that account that would be a red flag in and of itself that you may have to do some enhanced customer due diligence and find out what's going on. So uh, if you look at the bold lettering at the bottom of the page there, financial institutions should pay particular attention to customers with non-specific occupations um, and who continually make cash de uh, deposits. Um, also keep in mind, if somebody's retired, they're a retired what? Are they a retired doctor? Are they a retired school teacher? You know, you go ahead and, and make sure that you include some detail in that section.